It's the thrill, it's the buzz. It's about the driver, the car, quality of the team around you. We've all been testing. We've all heard how fast people are. No one's seen it. Bullshit stops. We find out the truth this weekend. Every hour of the day, even when I'm asleep, I'm thinking about it. Every hour of the week is, is focused on Enduro Motorsport. Now then. Ah, not bad. Hey, up under, you all right? Here's your cameras. Oh, no problem. Hide under there if you were. <laughs> I'm uh, Marcus Clutton. I am team manager and race driver at Enduro Motorsport. If we're short staffed, I'll be on the car, uh, I'll drive the truck. I make sure everything's working correctly, the team, everything's booked, and when we get to the race weekend, it runs how it should. Effectively, it's all on my shoulders. I kind of thought that we do have some sort of chance, not to win the championship, but to do get some good results. But there's something, I think you're right there, there's something exciting about being the underdog, if you like. I can't put my finger on why. That's going the other way. At okay. the I still feel like an underdog as a driver. I'm told that I'm not. <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm an ambitious driver. I drive like I'm still trying to prove to everybody. I still don't feel people know who I, who I am or not that I'm anybody. I'm just me, but I drive with a lot of passion. Um, and every, every moment on the circuit counts for me. How much time's left in me, I don't know. Bridge GT is a pro-am class, first and foremost, and what that basically means is, is that each team has a pro driver and an am driver. Obviously, I'm standing for, for, for amateur, and often it's the amateurs that are funding the teams, uh, as, well as, as well as sponsorship. GT cars are cars that you see on the road, like Ferrari, Lamborghinis, Porsches, McLarens. Those cars are then modified to be race cars. They're about 10% road car, 90% race car. It then comes down to the quality of the team, the reliability of the car, and, and ultimately the setup. And then, of course, obviously, the, the driver's doing their job. The, te the team's only, you know, one year old. So, yeah, we're, we're definitely underdogs in that regard, but when you look at the quality of the people within the team, yeah, there's some real experience there and, you know, and, they're, and they're excited about, you know, about you know, winning races and a potential championship as an underdog. There's only six or seven of us in total, but I think we create a good, uh, a good little package. There's myself as team manager. Morgan currently is, is the backer of the team. He's efficient. Things get nipped in the bud very quickly. I think kind and brutal, if you can put them two words together, that's Morgan. Supports me uh, a lot. I'm getting faster, I'm getting pressure on him, you see. Yeah. He's, got, he's, got, he's got up his game, isn't he? Yeah, no. My partner, Elena, um, within the team, she does the media. Well, I've kind of been roped into it because I don't come from that kind of background at all, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I've got a very good engineer that I'm super lucky to have on board. Toby Phillips, very well known uh, within the paddock um, across the world, not, not just in Britain. Uh, he comes along with Sam Cotton, his data engineer. Uh, they're a little package, they work great together. Just normal driving, don't take any life out of them until after they happen. Jeff Harding, my main mechanic. <laughs> so we should be all right for the rest of the weekend. And then, there's Phil Trickett, who, who does a lot of our events. There's not many drivers that you can have a good laugh with all the time, and he's always up for a good laugh. He has his moments where he's a bit unhappy and whatnot, but he's usually pretty, pretty up for a laugh. For me, it's more about enjoying it and 
If you don't enjoy it, why would you come to work? And then Peter Hignett, he's now my truck driver and he's there to catch me when I fall. Um, and and he's, he's doing a good job of that, you know. He, sometimes you have to pull me to one side and say, look, you're doing this wrong, blah, blah, blah. We need to do this. Oh. I'm very lucky to have the people around me that I do.